Here's all the brand new comic book series for the week of June 10th, 2015, including Rock and Roll Biographies, number one. This is the second printing of the Slayer biography. This has a brand new artwork cover, very small print run. This is one of my picks of the week for sure. Almost no retailers are carrying this book. Which is the same case for It Will All Hurt from Alternative Comics. This has a hefty cover price, so this is going to have very few orders. But this is an ongoing series, so if it catches on, this one will be a hard one to find. Alternative Comics also gives us this interesting mini one-shot called Titan, which is pretty cool. Metallic Silence is a two-issue series. Both issues are out today from Amigo Comics. Got a rock and roll inspired story. Looks pretty cool. Small print run. And speaking of books with small print runs that are selling out quick, this is possibly the hottest book of the week, The Disciples, number one for Black Mask, written by Steve Niles. This is sold out in advance of release and already heated up on eBay. Clarence, number one, looks like a fun all-ages book from Boom Studios. Dark Horse gives us Midnight Society, The Black Lake. This is a new miniseries. Over at DC, they have a huge week. Convergence is over, and now we got an onslaught of new titles, including Section 8, number one, written by Garth Ennis, creator of Preacher. Batman 41, Commissioner Gordon in his new costume debuts. And starting this month, we have a whole bunch of Joker variant covers. They are printing these to order, which means there's no extra copies. So all the Joker variant covers this month are potentially going to be hot books because no stores can order any extras. Constantine, the TV series, just got cancelled this week, but he returns in a brand new series, Constantine the Hellblazer. Earth 2 Society, number one. This is a series spinning out of Convergence. Harley Quinn, number 17, features the first full appearance of the Gang of Harleys. This could be a potential future hot book. Red Hood Arsenal, number one, by Scott Lobdell. This one also coming out of Convergence. As is Starfire, number one, from Amanda Connor. Over at Fantagraphics Books, they give us Blubber. This is a one-shot by writer and artist Gilbert Hernandez. Very small print run. Long Distance is a new series over at IDW. An image debut star written by Brian Wood. Here's a cool cover, the Gwenjolina variant for 1602 Witch Hunter Angela. Number one, this is one of the many Secret Wars series debuting this week from Marvel. We also got Captain Marvel and Carol Corpse. Here is the cool action figure variant, the only one out this week. Ghost Racers, number one, ties into Battle World. As does Marvel Zombies. And Mrs. Deadpool and the Howling Commandos is a fun one, which actually ties into all Marvel's 70s horror characters, like Werewolf by Night, Frankenstein's Monster, The Living Mummy, Man-Thing, and Marcus the Centaur. Hulk vs. Hulk in Ultimate End, number two. This is one of the biggest books selling out this week for Marvel. Already sold out in advance of release. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl has been going to non-stop reprints. The first four issues have been reprinted all together this week, and they all tell a story. Each cover has a different word. And Weird World looks like a fun one from writer Jason Aaron. Lots of variant covers on this one. Over at Titan Comics, they give us 21st Century Tank Girl from Alan Martin, as well as Death Sentence London. This is a new series, tying to the original Death Sentence uh, miniseries, which came out last year. And over at Valiant, they celebrate the 25th anniversary of Exo Manowar. So there you go. Tons of cool books this week. Check out all of these and any other new releases. You can order from our website, hawkdiscomics.com. Check out my weekly reports where I talk about books selling out, potential books going up in value, hot back issues, and of course our weekly videos. So thanks for watching.